I decided to come to North Carolina Central because when I came on my visit, it was just like a home atmosphere. It's just the campus is beautiful. The people were so friendly when I came and like everyone just kind of like welcomed you with open arms and like treated you like you were already here. I decided to come here because I had a lot of support back home from alumni. I thought it was important to take this preparing to soar program just because I knew that I was going to struggle with the transition from high school to college. It gets me adjusted to the school already rather than me having to wait to come in the fall and get adjusted to the workouts, the games, the school. I didn't know what PSP was at first. When I first read the paper that explained exactly what it was, I was like, whoa, they're going to be, we can't leave campus, we can't do all this other stuff. The Preparing to Soar program is a program for our student athletes, incoming freshmen, to come and engage with our faculty and staff on campus, their coaches, uh, be able to take classes so that they're getting ahead. The goal of the program is to give them six weeks of academic and social acclimation to being a student athlete. I still remember the open ceremony because it, it brought everybody out of the shell. Everybody was quiet, but playing the games and stuff. You couldn't be in your show. It wasn't a boring orientation. They made it seem all fun. And like, okay, this is a good environment for me. I was excited but nervous at the same time because I didn't know if I was going to be able to fit in with the others. I was excited to come, actually. I, uh, I was looking forward to college, getting out of the house a little bit, getting away from my parents. All these activities with, like, cards and activities with our parents. The icebreakers were definitely helpful because I was really nervous to go in there. You didn't know anybody. All these athletes were just standing around, not talking. So like those games really helped you like open up and be yourself around them. It was kind of awkward the first day. I never know. I haven't seen any of you guys before. Those activities we did, they were, <laughs> were kind of weird, but I mean, it was fun. It was better than just sitting around listening to people talk all day. It was just all fun. And I can tell that everyone here really wants it to be fun for us rather than just serious all the time. It feels like you're in a big family from like the day you step on campus. It's just everybody's very accepting of you. The purpose of this program was to ensure that our incoming student athletes have the opportunity to really excel and achieve student success. I like learning and I know that basketball is, is it's only temporary. I mean, even professional athletes, they can go and anything can happen out there. You have to have something to fall back on. Education is very important to me. I think that comes first. It means a lot, especially my mom, she, she, she stay on me about education and get that first. That's, that's more important than football. Education to me means everything. I feel that without an education, I'm really not setting myself up for anything positive that can happen in my life. This 71 people on our staff, on, our, on this team, and all 71 people are dedicated. My favorite times of the year are May, December, and August. And that's when our students march across the stage or they receive their degree. Nelson Ball spoke about the glass house effect and how sports players are under the radar. And if you mess up one time, it's in the social media. The common misconception about student athletes is that we slack off in the classroom. We're, we're not good students, but I think that's not true. And I think a lot of us do actually, we actually do care about being stu good students because we know that athletics is gonna only take us so far. Being a student athlete, you actually have to be twice as prepared as a regular student in college. Everybody expects uh, student athletes to be on a higher bar than regular students. They expect us to be like on our A game all the time. My first week here in North Carolina Central has been amazing. 
it takes a lot to introduce you from high school to college. So I mean, a lot of people tell me college is way different from high school. So I was like, it can't be too much different. And it is. In the past, it was easier because in high school, you had more time on your hands. In college, I can see already that like you don't have a lot of time. You got to be able to balance. In the past, I've balanced uh, my support and my education by basically just staying focused and being around other people that are really focused. That is the biggest challenge, being able to balance your athletics and your academics and maintaining both. There's a business component to it. I think every college athlete has a moment where they say, you know what, this is more than just playing the game. It's a lot of freedom. And so I've never really been like, had this much freedom. You are more responsible for things here in college than you are in high school. You have to take responsibility for everything, being on time, having everything that you need. It's all on you now than it was in high school. Even though it seemed kind of overbearing at first, them making us get up and go to breakfast and walking us to class, I feel like that's actually gonna help us in the future. Just being on time, being prompt and on schedule. The Center for Leadership taught us that everyone can be a leader, but it still takes teamwork. Feed off the energy of others. If you see somebody doing it good, try to learn a member states and pick up on it. And then that's how like, we kept the ring going around in a circle because we picked up and seen how somebody next who just came before you did it so easily. The rings was pretty um, challenging because it was kind of hard to like hit them and have them spin and then pass them. You have to work together and teamwork is way better than just being an individual. The ability to work through things, work through problems, um, was a real big part in understanding that some things are academic and that there's a correlation between them. How they are as students is how they are as athletes. I think the most fun has been meeting everybody because there's different personalities here and just getting to know my team before we start the season so we can build that bond together. I'm used to the schedule. It's a little less sleep than I expected, but it's pretty good. I like the teachers. I like, I like the mentors. I actually feel like the fact that I'm in the program is really going to build me of being a better student because I'm already getting started and pushing ahead of the game. You get to like do a whole semester but in six weeks and I think that's really going to help us when we start playing. I'm really hoping this program get me more acquainted with school, get me more acquainted with college life, get real acquainted to where I'm supposed to go, where the, caf the cafeteria is, you know. As an athlete, I don't take the easy road. I wanna go, I wanna go hard because I like being sore. Like it's weird. I like being going to sleep and being like, I'm so tired. I hate like having energy at the end of the day. As an uh, athlete, I would describe myself as hard working. You gotta be the best and my grind doesn't stop. You know, I tell myself you gotta give it that extra mile or you gotta give it that extra rep on the bench or that extra rep squat and you gotta give it that extra. It's long days, let's just say that. We wake up early, we have a, a pretty hectic schedule from going to class, going to train, and then going to class again. So it's a busy day, but at the end of the day, I think it still puts us an extra step above everybody else. We're determined and we're disciplined enough to go out there and be on the court for hours or be on the field for hours, and then come back and go to class and, and do, do our job there as well. I feel like that separates us from what everybody else can do. We can do both. Football has taught me you gotta work hard. You have to work hard. You can't you can't slack in nothing because when you cheat, you cheat yourself. The type of mindset I have, you you gotta want everything. You don't settle for nothing. It's like I'm a hope, you know. I'm 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 just like I'm, I'm chilling, and then when I get on the field, I just blow up. You know, I, I'm just that I'm that head hunter. I'm that I'm that guy that go get it.
we're very fortunate that the NCAA um, sees it as a very important thing to invest back into its member institutions um, so that we are all on the same page and all have the same opportunities. We have to give credit to the amount of people who put the program together. ATN Thomas, uh, Dr. David Hood and Aspiring Eagles, uh, William Moultrie and Aspiring Eagles. There's not really a, a person on this campus that didn't work to put this program together, to set up the trips, to set up the classroom experience. These student athletes in PSP are going to be so far ahead of their peers coming in in August. The etiquette dinner was fun. The food was really good. We learned how to dress properly for business interviews, job interviews in the future. We learned how to properly eat. We learned exactly how to hold our fork and our spoon. When they place like your silverware and all that, like what to eat with and what not to eat with, two different kind of forks. You always keep the napkin right there until you get up. And when you get up, you have to put it like, you don't fold it again, you just put it there. We learned how to properly shake hands. I remember to keep my hands on the table while I eat, even when I'm putting my silverware down, and how my silverware is supposed to be when I'm finished eating. One that we do the most is Eagle Excellence, and our chancellor in the first day talked about that's a, a motto for the entire campus. And for us, it's just doing the very best that you can in each situation. The most fun thing that happened was definitely Bush Gardens. I felt like I was going back home because I used to go there all the time. We just enjoyed ourselves. It was a time where we didn't have to worry about school and workouts and stuff. We went to Bush Gardens in Williamsburg. That was a blast. We all rode all the roller coasters, some of them like two or three times. We rode roller coasters and water rides, and I had funnel cake, and I was late to the bus because I got a funnel cake. We uh, walked around, ate a bunch of food, uh, just, I don't know, just hung out with each other, and it was really fun. Bush Gardens was important, I think, because I feel like as a program, we were all kind of drained with everything that was going on with workouts in school, so, Going to Bush Gardens, it was kind of like, we get to relax, we just get to have fun. The Griffin, that was the biggest ride there. And a lot of us didn't want to ride it, but and nobody wanted to be the only one not riding it. So it goes up real slow and it stops. And like on the first drop, it stops midway. So you're just looking down and that's when everybody just like laughing and crying and screaming. And in fact, I'm one of those, I didn't want to ride it at all. I really think they're becoming eagles. I think they're starting to get and understand that school pride. And I think that they become a team, they become a unit. And there I, ho I hope to say they become a little bit of a family. I'd say the relationships that I have with them are very important because I'm gonna be here for the next four years. So not even with just the football team, but involving the volleyball and softball girls. So bonding with other people in other sports is probably the best thing. The mentors in this program, I think they're, I think they're amazing. Like, it doesn't matter if it was football. The mentor doesn't matter if it was volleyball or basketball. It doesn't matter. I got to talk to all of them the same way. It was kind of, I felt like a family. So we went to Atlanta and we were there from Friday to Sunday after taking a like seven to eight hour trip on the bus and we watched movies and we sang like bus tunes. Those bus rides was real fun, being on the bus with those guys. Everybody's just laughing and joking again, having a fun time the whole way down. And then when people go to sleep, we wake up and do it all over again. We got there and just getting to the hotel, I was like in awe, like the hotel was huge. Favorite part was probably the trip to Atlanta. Just enjoying time with teammates and just everybody. It was a fun experience. My favorite was the Coca-Cola factory because in the beginning when you went there, like they show you like a video. It was a really nice video. I cried, of course. Um, <laughs> and then right afterwards, there was like other things you can do, but I went straight to the sodas. Coca-Cola factory was really fun, but it was interesting because when we got there, we thought all the sodas were gonna be good, just kind of different, you know, but some of them were so nasty. And I'm not even gonna lie, I spit a few out. It was pretty nasty. 
the soda machines were uh, divided into continents and everybody was so excited getting all those cups. Different flavors from everywhere. It's usually, to me, it's left or right, like good to bad. <laughs> we got to go to the Coca-Cola factory, which I've never been, which was cool because then we got to know about like about why Coca-Cola is what it is, about how we are the we are the secret of Coca-Cola, that's what we learned about. A fun moment between me and my teammates was the talent show that we had in Atlanta. Yeah. And my uh, teammate Marley was dancing. That was pretty funny. You had Stu do the little notorious B.I.G. dance. The Football Hall of Fame was just fun. Like, we just all had a ball. I got to see um, the Heisman Trophy. Yeah, I never saw that before. You get to see all the helmets, all the uniforms, and how it works. And they had our school up there. I didn't know they had our school. I think it's good to, no matter what your profession is going to be, I think it's good to see where you want to be. So. I mean, seeing that stuff, it, it just makes me more hungry to get there. My name is Nicholas Leverett, and a random fact about me, I play the piano from time to time. We also went to the aquarium, which I loved. It was so fun. Like, we never been to an aquarium before, so that was a, we only see those kind of fish on TV, so we was, it was crazy seeing how big they were. It was a part where we can go in, walk in, and the fish would be swimming around us. There was a big tube, and they were just swimming over us, around us, and everywhere you look, it was just fish and sharks and other fish we'd never seen before. It was real cool. I got to touch sea urchins, and I got to see alligators, and I got to go into like this hut and like have penguins like look at me. The Georgia Aquarium was the only aquarium in the world that had that kind of uh, tank along with those whale sharks in captivity, so that was real fun to know. The aquarium was one that I was most surprised at because you think that they've seen everything. You know, watching some of the amazement in some of the students' eyes as they looked at whale sharks and, and nature, you know, let me know that um, Sometimes it's little things, it's the things that we take for granted. They may not have said it, but it was really letting them know that their world is bigger again than North Carolina Central or what they're gonna do with Halfway. It's the experiences and the bonding that this group has done. You know, these are lifelong friendships that they've made for the next four years. And the most fun thing about being in this program is being around my peers. We have a lot of great times, we have fun. I feel like I've known them for years and I haven't even, half of them I never met until like a month ago. I love the campus, I love the environment, I love how friendly everybody is. I think it's beautiful. Such a family order in a place that they really care about you, they want you to succeed, they care about your grades and uh, actually on the field. Every freshman feels like this summer was the longest thing that they have to do, but they don't realize that those four years will go by quick. As a student, I would describe myself as lazy before I came into the PSP program, but since I've been in college classes now, I see that lazy is not going to cut it. The biggest thing it's taught me is responsibility and, and balance. I have to balance everything. I think that going forward, especially this class of PSP, will be champions for the next class of recruits coming in. I was an incoming freshman that this is a good opportunity to take because it, it, like I said, it's, it's a jump start. I know that I have an advantage over other students and other student athletes just because I already know what the professors are kind of like. I know like what to expect as in classwork and homework. I definitely recommend it because you never know if you're going to fail a class or get behind in a class. It's better to go in ahead than behind.
they give you all the tools to make that happen. And you're gonna excel as, as a student and as an athlete if you have a program like this for the summertime. Taking six weeks out of your first summer out of high school, the advantage you will have, there's nothing like being ready. When I got here, I didn't want to, honestly, I didn't want to be here. I felt, should I stay here for the summer? It's my last time with my friends before I go off to college for good, because I know when I come here, especially being an athlete, it's going to be strenuous. Until I got to know the program and everything that was going on, this was, I needed to be here. I just, this was, and I had fun, like it was summer with my friends, because these, the guys here at this program, they're my friends, so it's the same thing. It's going to be fun, it's going to be hard, but I mean, at the end of the day, at the end of the program, when you look back on it, it's going to be worth it. It's a video.